This is question four from paper one of the SQA new higher specimen paper. We're given a quadratic equation and told it has no real roots and we're asked to determine the range of values of P. This bit here means that P is a member of the set of real numbers so we're just looking for which real numbers uh, P can take, what values they can take so that this statement's true, that this quadratic equation has no real roots. Now let's remind ourselves of a little bit of quadratic equation theory that if we have a quadratic equation the solutions to that equation there's well they're given by this expression there's usually or there can be two of them minus b plus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a or minus b minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So on the, the face of it you'd think there was going to be these two values. However, the problems arise when either b squared minus 4ac is 0 in which this part 0 and this part 0. If you add 0 and subtract 0 you get the same answer. So we'll really have one root or one solution to this equation. That's the case where you're, you're talking about a repeated root as the, the, both these values are the same. And the extreme case where b squared minus 4ac is negative. And to find the square root of a negative number, that's not a real number. So neither of these uh, expressions will give you a real number and therefore there will be no real solutions. That's the case here, no real roots. So we're particularly wanting b squared minus 4ac to be less than zero. We want a problem under the square root sign. We want a negative number under there so that we can't get a real root. So if we look at the equation 2x squared plus px plus p plus 6. Just put these in brackets, this last one. And we'll compare it with ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Now you can see that a is 2, b we have no idea what it is, it's p, uh, we don't know what p is, and c is p plus 6. If we knew what b was, if we'd find a value for p, we know the value for c is 6 more than that. So let's look at the discriminant. That's the expression that's under the square root sign if we were to solve this using the quadratic formula. So the discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. So in this case it's p squared minus 4 times a, which is 2, times c, which is p plus 6. So we get p squared minus 8 lots of p plus 6. That's p squared minus 8p uh, minus 48. And we're wanting this expression to be less than 0 for no real roots. That's the only time that this equation will have no real roots is if the discriminant which is here is less than zero. So we'll look at the factorization of p squared minus 8p minus 48 uh, for 12s. Now, to get a minus 8p, the 12p would have to be negative 12p, and the 4p would have to add 4p. So minus 12p plus 4p, and that times that does give us the minus 48. So we're looking at p plus 4 times p minus 12 less than 0. So that's a bit of a problem. Let's have a look at the graph of the expression p squared minus 8p minus 48, the values of that. So it's a quadratic graph. It's this way up because the p squared has a positive
coefficient. It crosses the p-axis when this is equal to zero, when p plus 4 times p minus 12 equals zero, then p is minus 4, it's from this factor being zero, or p equals 12, that's from this factor being zero. So the graph of the values of this expression looks like this. And the inequation we've got is when does p squared minus 8p minus 48, when is it negative? When does it lie below the, uh, the p-axis? Well, that's here. In other words, when p takes any value between negative 4 and 12, not negative 4, because then this would have a value of 0. And not negative 12, not 12, because again, this would have a value of 0. So anywhere between negative 4 and 12. So um, p plus 4 times p minus 12 is less than 0 implies p has to lie strictly less than uh, 12 but greater than negative 4. That's how we would write this in equation. P is jammed between negative 4 and 12. This is a less than and this is a less than. Negative 4 is less than all the possible values of P which also are less than all uh, are less than 12. 